Yeah, yeah. I got something different for y'all. I want y'all to go ahead, look down in the uh, comment section. I'm gonna do a little poll. It take even if you don't watch this whole video, at least just go answer that poll. I just got a question, and all you're gonna do is answer with one word. That's all. That's the new thing that I'm doing. So let's get into what we got to talk about. This might be one of the most difficult topics that I ever created so far doing content creation. This game, The Finals, is a great game and it has a problem that other games have, but the way they get into the problem and other games get their problem is completely different. So it's a little conflicting on what I normally sit here and talk about and we're gonna get straight into this. Now, The Finals came out with a bang. Surprise to everybody. Season two, I've been enjoying season two. The game is great. I mean, it's fun as hell. I mean, it's a sandbox where you can create and do your own way and achieving your goal and just having fucking mad fun. The new game mode is dope as hell. Like, I can't stop playing the new game mode which is two teams battling it out on this little platform. And if you've seen any of my videos, any of my streams, you see it. Like, man, it's just mad fun. It comes with uh, new guns, new gadgets. Season two is all to a great start. Can't complain about it at all. Now, the devs. The devs is doing things that most devs or a lot of devs don't do, which is they communicate heavenly with the community. Whether it's on social media, they even have their own, they, they join the Reddit pages, so you can sit there get feedback they're always in feedback mode sitting there taking in whatever you're saying suggestions the discord they're always talking about what's going on they give weekly updates for checks and balances they are really heavy on communicating with the community but this is where it becomes conflicting because most of the time when games are having an issue is because you hear it a lot and i say it a lot that the devs don't listen they don't listen at all and it's normally the ones that you want to listen because it's like they forgot where they came from especially on games like the sequel i get those are like the ones that i'm really passionate about it's the games that have sequels and then yet you're losing your identity and then the the, the community is sitting here trying to tell you hey change this and they don't listen they just tune you out this is a different case with this game they're always listening and they're always Shit, taking your feedback and always changing things but this is where the problem is and i can't believe this is a problem but it is a problem the problem is that the devs listen too much taking the opinions of everybody but this game it's yes it has its casual mode and it has its rank mode but this game really seemed like it, it is niche is just casual even though there is a rank need for this when it comes to casual games the casual player actually don't get on blog sites they don't comment they don't leave feedback they play the game for the little bit of time that they play it get off they had fun they'll come back another day right but the hardcore gamer the person that's normally want to do ranked or the hardcore gamer the more hardcore gaming they're watching their streamers and everything to them is more competitive those are the ones that have the outreach they want to be on social media they want to be on riddick forums they want to voice their opinion about the game that they're sitting here grinding and putting in so much time so this game kind of catered and exploded because of the casual players right but the casual player is not giving the feedback it's the hardcore people so now you're changing things so much in this game and they're listening so much that they can't work on the other things that they actually need to work on. Every week there's a check and balance. Something is getting nerfed, buffed. They're always throwing in cosmetics, but you could actually be using that time to build more onto maps, game modes, gadgets, to make the game have longevity. But you're only changing every week. You're listening to the hardcore fans, but the hardcore fans is not what's really drove this game to the numbers that it had for instance to help out this situation and describe it a little bit more the queue times are completely different from casual mode to rank mode rank mode is long ass queue times no one is playing it you can instantly get into a game in casual the numbers are there that is this game is more appealing to the casual player but the casual player doesn't leave feedback and the devs want to be engaged with the audience Thus, why there's so many changes dealing with nerfs and buffs, and they're wasting their resources on sitting here talking into all these people that are commenting nonstop, and they're commenting back. 
it's a loss in resource that you could have put somewhere else and thus that's why we see this huge drop off when it comes to the players and the viewership in this game and, and it's kind of crazy because like i said before normally communication is what is killing a game it's because devs just do what they want and just assume this time this is a problem where the devs are doing too much because the community that is talking is not really talking for the rest of the community that driven this game to be at high numbers in the early adopting of this game was at 200k you know what i'm talking about that's a lot of people to just drop down to about 10k or whatever it is at this moment you know what i'm saying that's a huge drop off because the casual player is just like they just want more they just want more maps they want more guns they want more game modes they want more gadgets they don't really care about oh we dropped the bullet damage on this gun or we made the time for the healing beam a little bit shorter or longer or they don't care about that they just want to have fun and the hardcore people i'm not completely blaming y'all i get why y'all complain it's because this is what you want i think the solution here is if you want to do a whole bunch of nerfs and balances put that in the rank and then in casual it be a fine line where everybody was happy so that way rank can have their their thing that they do and y'all can focus more on making the new stuff for the casual players you know what i'm saying you don't have to keep doing weekly updates you're killing a game that is fun as hell and i encourage everyone to sit here and play this game i am a casual player when it comes to this game but i also dabbled into the rank this game is beyond fun and I hate to see something like this because a dev team oh, is being back, very back. vocal and being very transparent and talking to the community. And that's the oh, reason why your game is dying is because you're talking to your community. Get it, get it, get it, get it. That sucks when there's a whole bunch of games out here where devs ignore the entire community yes, to a go, point where it's just go. like, Fantastic. shut up, give me your money, and we can go on about our business. Go this is your boy Green. That's all I got to say. Y'all be easy.